Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I have a set of floor mats that I wanted to show you here. These are called Motor Trend Flex Tough uh, floor mats. They're, I got them for the winter. I guess they're considered all weather, but I don't think I'm going to do much of an unboxing. I'm trying to do this one-handed, and who really cares? You know, I'm taking them out. I just want to show you what they look like. Uh, it was supposed to come UPS ground, and it didn't. It came in this bag, and it's... The bag was pretty beat up, so I'm pretty disappointed about that. But they're just rubber, and as there's no tears or holes in them, then they say odorless, but I can already tell they do have an odor. It's not unbearable, but um, I'll leave a link in the description so you can see these or buy them if you'd like. Let's see here. I did want to get a set of the Weather Tech. I have a 04 Grand Marquis. They don't have it for that car, of course, but they do have it for the Lincoln Town car, which is pretty much exactly the same. But after looking, it's $150 just for the front mats, so I'm just going to go ahead with these. I like this, how these are dished in, so they'll actually collect the slush and snow and water, and they won't just run out the grooves like other ones I've had do. And then you get this, which I'm curious in my car to see. If this attached piece will actually go over top of the transmission hump or not, hopefully it will. So you can see how they're attached here. I'll probably make sure they fit, and as long as I don't return them, I usually just cut this piece off then, because I don't hang them up or anything. It's actually a little bit difficult to get that. It's like almost like a threaded nut on that plastic, and it was all thread locked, but I just kind of broke it off. So you can see here the Motor Trend logo. And this looks nice and soft, which I like. I was kind of worried that it was going to be stiff and you'd feel it, but it would just collapse right down if you put your foot on it. So that's good. So you get two of these. And then the rear ones, which are attached. Yeah, these should definitely reach over the transmission hump. All that. If they wouldn't, you could always just cut this or just cut them into two separate pieces. I'm going to try and leave it all as one big piece as long as it'll go for the transmission hump. There's a little piece of string here that needs to cut. Then you also get this little piece of PVC that must, I guess maybe that's how they hold them on their shelf or wherever. It's you know, a nice solid piece. I'll probably hold on to that and use it for something. And then I'm going to hold on to this bag too and then I'll just put my uh, carpeted factory mats in this, keep the dust off of them in the basement, so I'm trying to reuse the packaging there. Little tip, I guess you want to preserve your old ones if, if you switch them out from, you know, winter to summer like I do. The last uh, set of floor mats I had were gray and I already cut them, so I sold them with my other car. So these are color matched, hopefully close enough to what's in my car now, and I'll go ahead and see if anything, you know, needs trim to fit and I'll install them and hopefully uh, it'll look nice and then I'll just get back to you with the finished product. Figured while I had all these out I'd just give you a quick size comparison so these are just the really cheap ones that uh, came with the car when I got it which I only had them in there just for temporary. You can see how much larger these are. So then this is the Motor Trend one and beneath it or my factory ones, which if you're going to cut one of these mats, the easiest thing is you can kind of trace out how it would fit, but in my situation I want it to cover as much of the carpet as possible, especially because with this driver's one, they have this little notch cut out, and that's right where you put your foot on the accelerator, so I'm not going to go by that, I'm just going to eyeball it, set it in there, and then if there's anything that is, you know, bent or anything, I'll cut off any excess, but these are much larger than the uh, factory mats, so uh, there should be plenty there. And the factory mats fit perfectly in this little bag that came with it, so if you have an extra set, if you're just temporarily replacing them, you have the carpet ones, you might as well keep this bag, and then they'll this one fit perfectly and it's, uh, it kills two birds with one stone. Okay, so here's the final product after I got it installed in the car. 
a little bit late. It took me about a week or two because the weather was so bad, but now it's just cold out. You can see I've been using them for a while. This one actually really fit nicely. I didn't have to, I don't think I trimmed this one at all. It fit perfectly. So I, I wanted a little bit of an edge because I was worried about this part getting like slush or something, but this kind of will, you know, protect it. So like you can see how there's a little bit of water if it didn't go the whole way, but I think keeping the excess on was a good idea and it pretty much fits perfectly. So I don't think I need to use any other ones or print it pretty much reaches everywhere I need to. And when I did get some snow and slush in here, it did build up, but it I kicked my shoes off so it didn't get too messy, but none of it ever came close to spilling out. But. And then on the passenger side, I did trim it there. You can see a little bit of a trim mark. Uh, I did. I think I trimmed a little bit at the top there, because I think the fan housing or something or a vent is there. And then the back one. This one, I pretty much had to trim everything that was available to trim. This, I maybe could have kept one more piece, but it was kind of tight, as you can see. And I had to trim all of the excess pieces off that, except for this one. And these just barely fit under here. I mean, they're even shoved in, so. This should definitely fit like a van or a truck without any problem. This has a fairly big back seat, and you can see it's even just barely fitting in here. So I don't think I need to go too much farther. You can see, first off, his bastard dogs won't shut up, which is annoying, so I think I'll just end it here. You can see that the fit is pretty nice. I definitely think these are sturdy and they'll hold up. So I would definitely recommend them for like $30. Can't go wrong. I might include a review or something in the comments, so hopefully you can see that I would highly recommend these. I think they're going to work just fine for me. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you out and showed you a product that might you might find useful. So thanks for watching and have a good one.